So let's go ahead and create an eBay listing that complies with the new seller standard on eBay for the year 2018. So what you have to do here is first of all, you can just go ahead and copy and paste all the pictures that you find here that are pretty much useful. I don't like the ones that are featured over here because we have to do screenshots. Instead, I'll go all the way down and look if there is any good pictures that we can just copy in the description part of the actual listing. So I'm copying just a few of them down, just the ones that are going to make this product stand out and look good. Some of those pictures are not good, such as this one right here. So the bad pictures, I'm just going to be skipping on them. Then when we are done with that, we are also copying the description and the name of the actual product. After that, we are going and pressing on create your listing, copying and pasting the title and changing it just a little bit so it stands out. So nobody knows that you're copying and pasting this listing. Then you can go ahead and use your own pictures if you have a sample product of this item, which I totally suggest for you to actually do. It is now more important than ever for you to have a sample product on hand, especially given the new terms of service that eBay wants you to do. They want you to have a product on hand. They don't want you to go ahead and just dropship that you don't have the relationship with a dropshipper. So what I did here is I'm posting the extra pictures over here as well. I have the actual product on hand and I'm done with putting all the information for this product, including the store categories, which I totally suggest for you to do is to open your own eBay store because it's going to exponentially increase the amount of selling that you're going to be having. So going from 50 free listings, going all the way to 250 and still paying a monthly fee will actually 10 times increase your amount of money that you'll be getting from eBay. Now, next thing you want to do is to retype the whole description in a way that's going to make sense and in your own words. And this is what I did right here. I organized it and I made it look good because when somebody is going to buy it, they want to buy an actual product. So it is fast shipping, USA seller, and I have the product on hand. Next step is to come up with a decent price for this product. I paid about four bucks for it. I'm selling it for around 12, but initially we can go as high as 15.98 for this product. Now, before we go ahead and post this up, we're gonna make sure what is the competition doing for the same exact product? So what we are doing here is going ahead, pasting the name of the product and press on search. And after we do this, we are going to be seeing a few listings that are coming up for the same exact product. And now we can see how much it is selling for over here. One of them, same exact one is going for three bucks and 50 cents is the shipping and it's coming directly from China. On the other hand, you can see the big difference here with people using the actual picture that's coming directly from them versus the ones that you can take yourself. And to stand out from the rest of them, you have to take your own pictures because otherwise you are not differentiating yourself from any of those other sellers who are selling it much cheaper than you are. So the next step that you want to do here is to go ahead and press on sold and complete listings and to see what actual price this product sold for. You can see one going for seven bucks here and another one going for three bucks. This is because I posted the entire listing for this product using the keywords that I used before. On the other hand, changing the keywords around and pressing on search leads us to different kind of listings that have been sold before. On the other hand, changing the listing and pressing on search leads us to different kind of products. And eventually what you want to do is to figure out which is the best titles that you want to use for this product. So you get a lot less competition and a lot less likely somebody will do search and find your exact product. The next thing I suggest for you to do is to figure out which is the way that you're going to be drop shipping this product. One way is to drop ship this directly from China. This is actually the cheapest way for you to do this, but this does not comply with eBay terms. To top it off, it's going to take you 24 business days 
for this to get to your location. Because this takes too long, the only thing I suggest for you to do is to ship this directly from the United States. Unfortunately, this will add an additional 4 bucks to it and it's going to cost you 8 bucks and 24 cents for this product. Regardless, this still does not comply with eBay listing because if the person is going to be shipping it from a different kind of zip code than yours and plus the person who is getting the product might complain about if it is not the quality that he wants the product to be, you might actually get in trouble with eBay. So to prevent this from happening, what you have to do is to buy your own copy of this product and it only costs you 4 bucks and 24 cents to get this product. I know this is a small investment, but in those days, if you want to secure your account and make sure that the product is actually going to sell and make money, you got to drop ship this directly to you. After you get this product on hand, you're going to get amazing pictures taken of this product. And if you can't take pictures, go to Fiverr and get a Fiverr photographer to do it for you. After you're done with this specific part, what you're going to be doing next is posting the listing description on eBay and start selling it at a good price.